the viewers today we we'll discuss that the hamiltonian can be interpreted as a generalized energy that means we have to prove hamiltonian is equal to total energy that means the potential and kinetic energy sum of the potential and kinetic energy to prove this at first we have to prove for a conservative scalonomic system quantity summation i equals to 1 to up to n qi dot del l del qi dot minus l is a constant at first it's obvious it's a lagrangian function and lagrangian is the function of q q dot and time t but in the scalonomic system it's a stationary quantity that's why it's explicitly dependent in it's depend on the q and q dot now we have to prove this so to prove this we have to change the system uh, is scalonomic So we have BDT of sum of i equals to 1 to up to n qi del l del qi dot minus l. If we break the bracket for the product derivative sum of i equals to 1 to up to 1 n qi double dot del l del qi dot plus qi dot ddt of del l del qi dot minus it's a lagrangian function sum of i equals 1 to up to n so del l del qi dot qi double dot plus del l del qi qi dot and it's obvious that l l is the function of q i and qi dot because it's a stationary quantity so independent of time already we consider these quantities now if we using the lagrange from lagrangian equation from lagrangian equation ddt of del l del q y dot that will be del l del q y using this in its equations taking it equation number one if we consider then we have from one ddt of sum of i equals to one to up to n q y dot del l del q y minus dot minus l equals to sum of i equals to 1 to up to n qi double dot del l del qi dot here it is double dot plus qi dot ddt of del l del qi dot now from lagrangian i equals to 1 to up to n qi double dot del l del qi dot replacing this quantity by this so we use qi dot del l del qi equals to ddt of del l del qi dot from lagrangian equation so both the equation have same quantity so it will be zero and since this quantity is zero in the clear from the differential calculus 
that's this entire one quantity within the bracket is constant so we have qi dot del l del qi dot minus l equals to constant now we are going to the main part of the theorem what will be the theorem is so the kinetic energy if the kinetic energy kinetic energy is a homogeneous function better to say homogeneous quadratic function of velocities then the total energy is constant as well which we have to prove in mathematical languages we have sum of i equals to 1 to up to n del l del q i dot q i dot that will be sum of i equals 1 to up to n if we considering it as del l del q i dot and we already know lagrangian l equals to t minus b that is potential energy minus eh, sorry kinetic energy minus potential energy into q i dot so if we break the bracket what we have sum of i equals to 1 to up to l del t del q i dot q i dot minus this term will be 0 so what we will have because it's already clear time and uh, that's a uh, uh, this sorry the kinetic energy t is interpreted as the kinetic energy and obviously t equals to we know half of m into x dot square plus y dot square plus z dot square in this way so it's obviously homogeneous function of power 2 so it by the Euler's theorem from differential calculus it will be twice of t it's clear and for rigorous idea and detailed idea why these things happen we have to study from differential calculus Euler's theorem and we just here apply the property so we apply Euler's theorem in the last day and as such we have t equals h equals to Hamiltonian equals to twice t minus this quantity that means sum of i equals to 1 to up to n del l del q i dot into q i dot minus l so this will be twice t minus l will be t minus v so it will be t plus v so it will be total energy so we can say that h can also be interpreted as generalized energy and we can prove that Hamiltonian equals to total energy that is kinetic energy and potential energy and H can also be written as generalized energy so today here we end our classes thank you